I don't know. Oh, well. These three ladies that are so smart and beautiful yeah, and cool, and I feel like we should talk to them <laughs> because they have so this much to say. No, Rooney, please. No. <laughs> Rooney, don't do that. They flew you out here. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> I wanted, so I wanted to ask Joaquin um, how and when you became involved in the project. Did it, did, the, did it come to you as a finished script or were you talking with Spike about it before then? How did that work? You can do it. Uh, no, yeah, seriously, thanks everyone for being here. Um, it's nice to be here. Um, how did I get by? Oh, my sister, my sister actually. Um, Who's my agent? Uh, of course, she's now become my agent. She she said that Spike knew her and and, um, and and said that Spike had this um, script, and he said that. Spike had it. Yeah, his sister. I know his sister for a long time, and so I, I called his sister and said, "Hey, can I get Joaquin's number from you?" And she said, "Why?" And, and then, uh, then yeah, I gave him the script, and we fell in love. Yeah, well, at least he was like, "Why? Why?" <laughs> you me and your sister in anyway. Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought Rooney was supposed to be in the middle. Yeah, please. No. Rooney, <laughs> 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 Um, Yeah, sorry, I thought I didn't really answer the question. No, you, you answered her question. Oh, okay. That was, that was fine. And Rooney, now that we've, you know, put you in the middle, mm -hmm. would you tell us a little bit about how you came to the role? Um, someone sent me this script. It wasn't my sister. I can't remember who it was, but um, I loved the script so much and I really wanted to be in the movie, but Spike thought I was too young for the part. And then I went to his apartment and we just read and he pretended that he was Theo and we read for a few hours and then when he saw me in person, he realized that um, I looked much older than that. <laughs> Her internal strength was ageless. Three pairs of pants. Yeah. But do you guys change your pants often? Can I have a show of hands? Who wears their pants yeah. more than once? Yeah, okay, you're all lying. Yeah, yeah I, I mean... I'm sorry, Star Trek. Did you and Spike Jones talk about the movie's symbolism, or did you just keep it to the characters? I mean, did it did it reach into the sort of uh, metaphor at all when you were when he was directing you? Um, probably. I mean, Spike gives so much direction and, and really? yeah, so many notes, and you were constantly changing it. Um, I, I auditioned for that part um, with Spike. I went to his apartment. He, he thought maybe I was too young for it, and then I went I went to his apartment and I read the scenes with him as Theodore. And he's actually really, really, he's a really good actor. We and, um, seen him. I mean, yeah, um, and it was so much fun to, I mean, it was really obviously great doing them with Joaquin as well, but it was really fun doing the scenes with Spike in his apartment, and um, he just, he gives such wonderful direction. What was Joaquin like? I mean, that was, I think, right after his uh, self-imposed exile from acting. Was it? I don't or right know. Right before, maybe? No, I think it was right after. Yeah, maybe. Um, I, I didn't work that long in that film only a few weeks and that was really sort of the most scripted thing I had in, in the film. We did um, several days of, we called it our baby Malik shoot, where it was all improv, you know. Um, Spike knew the different beats that he wanted to get that he could sprinkle in throughout the movie and so we had this house that um, we had two days in and we sort of had to like um, have our falling in love stage and you know the being happy and then we had to sort of go at each other in that house and, and have our divorce in that house. It was really intense and it was amazing though, uh, doing, doing the improv with Joaquin and, and with Spike there. And it was really an extraordinary experience getting to do that. We actually, we did one scene with a, it's not, there's so much of this stuff that is not in the film, but um, we went to a real couples therapist and had like an hour session with them and it was so interesting. <laughs> And the couple therapist was so mean to me. They were really going at me, picking, picking on me, and it was totally unfair. And then Joaquin like stepped in and 
was like sticking up for me. It was really. And were you defensive? Were you were you sort of arguing your? No, back? I was really like sad and just like taking it and was like couldn't understand. <laughs> yeah, it was it was very confusing. Uh, Rooney, you've worked with Wakim on don't worry, he won't get far on foot. Mm -hmm. And in the, it's, uh, it's uh, he, Wacky Mooney makes movies with like seven words in, in, in the title apart from this. Well, we did her together, that's the one word title. Oh, yeah, yeah, and this is only two, so, so yeah. that, that point goes out the window. Um, it, what's the process of working with actor on numerous times? You obviously get to know them better, does that make it any easier? Or is it actually sometimes great to be working with someone for the first time because there's that energy that you didn't know you had? It's always great working with him no matter what because he's so supremely talented um, but I think it does sometimes make it harder when you know someone um, you know you have to get past that especially on this you know he, I'm dressed like Mary Magdalene he's as Jesus it's it would be silly no matter who it was you know but when you know the person it's you have to get past that and um, that was a little bit of a challenge about you know don't worry you won't get that far on foot you have um, a Mary Magdalene movie with Rooney Mara you know who is here many times, you know, so I'm happy that you two are happy together. That's oh, a, that's, great. That's a nice well, she was, thing. She was here? Oh, she is. And she she's does, here now? She's not here now. She's not here now. No, <laughs> we're, we're here. But no, she isn't. But she does something you haven't done this show in this studio before. And we always end in song. Uh -huh. And Rooney is the only one that um, time and time again refuses mm -hmm. to sing for me. Right. And she says, I don't do it. I don't do it at home. I'm sure you right. hear her singing in the shower. No, she doesn't. She just doesn't do it. No. But you, Joaquin, mm -hmm. you, there's a scene in, in many scenes that uh, really affect me in You Were Never Really Here. There's one where you're sitting holding, the, I don't want to give a spoiler, but holding the hand of a dying man and singing a Charlene's I've Never Been to Me. Uh -huh. it's, it's like nothing I've ever seen in a movie before. As a guy who played Johnny Cash, do you have fear of singing? Of saying something in, in song? Is it uh, something Pedro, you... Pedro, I have a lot of respect for you. Yeah? <laughs> not a chance. That that's going to happen? You're not going to sing? There's not You've a chance. There's not nothing do that you can say, say or do. Even if I did it with you? No. No, no. look at that. No. There's nothing. I'm not getting it. So you it and Rooney become happen. my failures. Yeah, I mean, if that's, if that's how <laughs> that's you want to see it, that's fine. That's <laughs> but, but so you know, mm -hmm. when we're at home, yeah. we're not singing. <laughs> that's like, I'll take great <laughs> satisfaction in that. You okay, know, so I'll say, another okay, personal. You... And one last thing, um, somewhere here, I don't know where, is a filthy dragon, and I want to rip its wings off and fashion a blanket and sleep with it forever. I love you. Thank you. And then that, I'm not going because to do it. Because it is. And again, I say this again because you and the love of your life, Rooney Mara, whenever she's here, she does everything except ever sing. So I just mm -hmm. think it's the two of you she against me. She said to me, she should, just this morning, she, yeah, whatever she, Pedro says, do not sing. sing. She, do not give him that. See, that's just so, no, you give him it's that. so hateful. <laughs> I you, know. Know? you know what's it's really f***ed up yeah. is I was on a French talk show recently. Really? And I sang twice for no reason. They didn't even <laughs> want it. They literally no. didn't even want now, it. Now I just feel. Yeah. You know, they didn't love even songs. want it. Love See, songs. See, beautiful, lovely, like, stared into French. his eyes. In say, French. Yeah, in French, and too. Everything. Absolutely. 
Wow. But you want it so bad. So bad, and I, and I don't like that. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> just relax, Pedro. <laughs> This is just horrifying, and it's. I find it an unprovoked personal attack. I don't care about it's not unprovoked. This, it's no, it is provoked, provoked, but, <laughs> provoked by me. You know, yeah. But um, I feel like here's the thing. In all seriousness, um, get over it. Rooney, <laughs> <laughs> together. 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 One picture together. One picture together. One picture together. Together. Rooney. Rooney. Stop right there. Stay right there. Rooney, I love you. 